guys, welcome back. Today we are building Hadrian Cormier's kennel, essentially. The apartment lot that he is on in Adirin is like, it's bugged out. It's super cool to look at, but as I'm discovering, apartment lots in The Sims 2 are not great. I knew that, but somehow I just forgot about it. So not ideal, not ideal, but here we are. So I wanted to build a kennel that mostly focused on like the dog aspect. Hadrian Cormier, one of his traits is he hates the outdoors, so he really didn't need a large outdoor space. At the same time, of course the dog is, is starting up. Yep, yep, that's, that's very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. She found a rope. Uh, yeah, at the same time, like, he likes to throw axes, that's his hobby, so... <laughs> okay, I paused for a little bit because she was being super loud. But yeah, so his hobby is axe throwing, so I wanted to make sure that I, like, referenced that a little bit. He also likes the color yellow, but otherwise I didn't want to build too much to Hadrian's style. I couldn't even tell you what it is off the top of my head, but, like, that's kind of my focus. Because he is Marlene... Marilyn. Marilyn, I think is what I decided on. Uh, Marilyn's brother, her youngest brother, who is, like, she's a baroness, but she's in a shaky situation. And so she got him a really good position. He lost it, actually, due to a chance card, like, right at the end of the last round. So this round, yeah, she's gotten him another position, so to speak but not really, like, he just wants to train animals. His lifetime one is to, like, have set six pets or whatever reach the top of their career. So I got him a dog, and yeah, my main focus with this lot was really, I think I already said this, was just to, to, to lean in very heavily on the dogs, because he's not really interested in anybody else. I don't foresee him getting in a relationship anytime soon, unless we get, like, a wild three-bolter. Like, he, his dogs are going to kind of be his life. To that end, they are very well taken care of. There's, you can see the three big kennels. There's the kind of open yard that they can hang out in. I don't know why the display that I normally watch while I'm recording this is going so slow so I can see it's already behind. <laughs> so I might not be describing exactly what's happening, but I've tried it about four times now. Same results. So, to that end, We've got three big kennels, we've got the yard. Actually, a couple years ago, I did like an authentic kind of medieval kennel to what information that we have. We actually do have like a book that describes what a kennel should look like, how it should you know, function. I didn't really utilize that here, except for a few small instances, just because it doesn't make for a very easy building to create. And it's not very visually interesting and it's not functional. So I just kind of, yeah. But if you go on my Tumblr, you can definitely find those posts. I don't think I tag them as anything specific. If I remember, I will try to go back and just like give those a tag and I will link that down below, but there's a good chance I'll forget because this build, I am not even exaggerating, took between four and five hours. It's kind of hard to judge the time because you know, I get up periodically, but for the most part I've been at my desk. And I don't even know where this came from. This was just like an outpouring of, I want to build a dog kennel, which is very on brand for me, but <laughs> it wasn't what I expected to do. I expected to build the building because I had built it previously and it crashed, which is a good thing because I didn't really like the original design. It was, But yeah, just build the building decorate Hadrian's bedroom and then just kind of plunk some stuff down and play Hadrian's round. I did not expect to go like full insane decorating the way that I did. There's actually going to be three videos on this lot because I went a little, I was a little bit much, a little bit much and it looks really cool and I'm very happy with the final product but, but yeah that was not my intention. I'm also pre-recording because I'm starting my Wheel of Time speed read on January 15th, in which that is all I'm going to do for starting January 15th. I'm going to see how fast I can read that book series. The only book I'm not going to read would be New Spring, because it technically is a prequel, 
it wasn't part of like my original reread anyways. It's a lot of books and I'm going to read all of them. Like back to back. I'm not going to stop. Obviously self-care is going to be involved but otherwise like I'm not going to be, <laughs> I've already told my partner a few times, I'm like I'm not going to be really doing a lot of cooking or cleaning or laundry or the things that I normally do because I'm at home but yeah it'll it'll be interesting. I think that I can do it in 12 days. I don't know if that's gonna be possible but like that's what I think I can do and there's actually a couple people who they want to try the challenge too which helps bring up my competitive spirit because one person did the math and basically if you do nothing else but like sleep, eat, shower, you know, take care of your body and read, you should be able to do it in six days. I think that's insane and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. But the weird competitive part of my brain wants to try. So we're just, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see. Cause no one could give me a definitive timeline of how quickly they were able to do it. Cause like I said, it's a big series. It's like 13 or 14 books. I, I don't remember because there's like supplements and things and yeah, but we'll see. But I'm once again gonna ruin my delineation between books. Not that I have any anyways. Because the problem is when you like read through a series like that back to back to back to back, which I always do, people are like, oh that thing that happened in Winner's Heart, that thing that happened in Path of Daggers, and I'm like, uh, or like I'm trying to talk about a thing and they're like, oh which book was that? And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I have no memory of that. I know that it is in this series, but that's about what you're going to get from me. <laughs> but I don't care. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fine and fun and dandy, but I'm going to be tired at the end of it. I'm probably going to be very burnt out. That's why I haven't read, like I haven't started any new books this year. Like usually by now I've read at least one thing, even if it's like a graphic novel. I haven't let myself read anything. Like I don't want to get burnt out. Because I also know at the end of this, I'm going to be burnt out and not gonna wanna read for at least a couple weeks. So, little mind break, which is weird, but we'll see. I think my goal this year was 30 books and this is gonna be basically half of them. I would like to read a lot more, but I, tr I also try to be realistic and give myself plenty of time to just be a lump if my brain does not wanna function. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Alright, so as you can see, I've just, I, you know, we've got train paint at this point, we've got, the walls are all painted, there's stone. This is in the peasanty type neighborhood. Also, you can see in the background that pink soup lot that I need to demolish. I don't know why it's pink soup, there's literally nothing on it, but sometimes that happens. I also wanted to put just kind of some holes in the yard, just to kind of show, like, these are dogs. And my idea for Hadrian is he wants to be appointed, like, the royal kennel master. And I have a royal kennel lot, but in order to do that, he's going to have to top whatever career is closest, which I think I ended up going with show business. And he's going to have to reach the goal of six pets topping their career, and then he's going to be the official hound master, kennel master, whatever you want to call it, for the royal family. I think that's a really good goal for him, because he's very animal oriented. He's got a pretty big family, so I can't see him. Not that I can't see it. he just isn't very... Yay, family. Yay, I want to get married. He's also a gay sim, so there's limited options when it comes to partners, but in general, like, I would almost classify him as asexual. Like, he's just never, ever shown any interest in dating. I don't even think he's had his first kiss. Like, he's just not... meh. Unless I'm misremembering, but I feel like that's the vibe I get from him. I did want him to have some plants that were harvestable, just so if he needs to fill his fridge, but, you know, he's not... A gardener that's not the goal mostly I try to pick things that were vaguely medicinal or that I could pass off as medicinal I also saved a whole bunch because like I said I did build this lot and it crashed like right at the end right before I started decorating it crashed but it looks a lot better than it did before so I'm not mad about it I was mad about it I was absolutely furious but it looks much better the other one I had split up like the kennels and the like separate like, it was way too separate it didn't make sense for a deer in it looked like a modern kennel, but painted with a medieval brush, and I didn't like that. So yeah, just 
final touches with grass and things. Like I said, this is going to be a three-part video series. I don't know if they're, gonna, they're probably going to be posted in order, but I decorate the crap out of this lot, and I will apologize for none of it. I actually have way more decorative dogs than I expected as well. Like, I, I want more. I'm always going to want more, but for now, it, it was sufficient because he's not training, like, the really fast, fancy noble dogs. He's just training your average dog for your average family. He's considered a uh, yeoman, but, you know, he's on the lower end of that spectrum because Cormier's before the war were indentured servants and while his older sister married very well or just kind of lucked out to be married to somebody who sided with Arndt Blumenthal that doesn't mean her whole family was immediately rocketed up there with her. They had connections but it's tenuous and she just doesn't have very much so things could also get worse for her given her circumstances. But we're not here to talk about my Trumbauer family. We're here to talk about Hadrian. I would like him to get an apprentice at some point. Not right away, but eventually. I just think, yeah, he would definitely want to share that aspect. Another thing that I really thought was important was, well, important, okay, it was important to me, but like I wanted like a puppy raising room. So that's why you're seeing me put cribs and things, because. My family, a very long time ago, bred chihuahuas for a few years. And you can actually keep them in play pens because they're all small. But yeah, I liked the idea of him having kind of pens with puppies in them. Because that's how he's going to make his living, is selling trained dogs to his fellow peasants. The nobles might end up buying one, but for the most part, trained dogs. And most of them will be decorative. Like, he's going to run a home business, but still concept applies. It might be a home business. I might actually let him have a community lot. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to play him on his home lot, though. And yeah, like, he's, they're not very pure red, but if he reaches that kennel master position, then he's going to be, you know, having the access to the fancy dogs. One of my dream, like, deco sets that I don't think that I'll ever have the skills to do, because even though people tell me meshing is easy, my brain does not work that way. I've tried very hard. I, I went on a meshing adventure, like around November, where I was trying to make hair ties, which everyone said, was like, oh, that's so simple. That's super easy. And no, not to me, not to me. I don't know if that just makes me simple or what. I don't know, but it was not, <laughs> it did not turn out, didn't turn out well. And my trial for milk shape is done. So yeah. But I would love to have a set of like foxhounds would be the most useful in just like six or seven poses and then puppy versions. Kind of like the dragon slave horses and just like a bunch of recolors. That would make me so happy because all of my nobility, they should have these giant freaking kennels. They really should. And you can't really do like, even though I have the deco dogs, a lot of them I have two poses for and they come in one to two colors and it doesn't really give that essence of like they have an entire pack of hunting hounds kind of thing so yeah that would be my dream set who knows I might try I've also looked at like you know free models that I could download and maybe try to recolor myself but yeah, yeah, no it's not a skill that I'm good I honestly debated paying someone to do it that's how badly I want this set but that's, like, that's not what we're really talking about here, I guess. Um, all that dog training equipment, this is why I'm considering giving him a community lot. I didn't want to put it here. It just didn't make sense. Like, that was just supposed to be a general yard. Again, I might wait till maybe he levels up a little bit in his career, and then he has kind of more of a public setting. He also will start training dogs that my other families already own, rather than adopting dogs or creating dogs in a crate of salmon then giving them to him. But we'll see. Right now, like I said, he just has the one dog, Dexter, that's a little beagle. And I definitely want to get him, you know, another one so that he has a breeding pair. And we'll just work from there. Since he doesn't really have, like, a lot of visitors, he doesn't really have a lot of friends. I was trying to look through and I'm just like, yeah, you really don't have much in the way of a life, buddy. But I think he's happy. He throws axes, but 
I mean, he enjoys throwing axes, so it's not like that's because he's sad. Okay, we're upstairs now. So you can see we've got like the puppy nursery next there. That'd also be like for hurt dogs or whatever. And then the main room, I think she has two bathrooms, and then the bedroom. And then I was kind of plunking stuff downstairs as I went. This part of the decorating is mostly just me putting up like the main pieces, like the bed, the counters, where, it, you know, what's gonna go in the kitchen. The decorative stuff is what the other two videos are because you guys know me. When I start to decorate and when I get really invested in decorating, it's a problem. <laughs> It's a problem. That's how I started this channel is I'm a problematic decorator. Problematic only because my game is just like, what are you doing? Which I'm hoping it'll run a lot quicker when I get my new computer set up. Or new to me computer. Like, and I know I should just do it, but I'm just so like hesitant. I just don't want to have to set it up again and you know, customize everything that I need to customize, download fixes. Just like even little things, like I have a, I don't even know what to call it, like a plugin that basically box links that are broken and automatically fixes them rather than having to type in that fix. Just like little things that I've done that I don't remember that I've done. I don't want to, I don't want to do it again. But I also really want to use the computer because that's the new microphone setup is that computer. But I'm just, I don't even know. Sometimes change is hard. <laughs> Even if it's a good, positive change that I want and I've actively sought out. So, eventually I will do the thing. It's probably going to be after my reread. I feel like that'll be a good project for me at that point. But again, I don't know. I don't know. For now, I'm just looking through trying to see what large pieces of furniture that I actually want to like put down. There's never any guarantee that I will use all of these items, but it's a good way to kind of rough out the space and be like, okay, kitchen's going to go over here, this is going to go over here. Do I have space for this? Do I have space for that? I've seen, I'm not the only simmer that does this, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people follow kind of the same concept. I wanted to make sure he could store water because once you have that water mod, it is very important. <laughs> Especially if there's ever a toddler in the lot and like you have a butler, game over. I still haven't done that, like I have the laundry mod and I really want to start making people use it, but then like I, I think about it and then I'm like, oh god, but what if it's really complicated? I don't think it is. Like I haven't actually played with it yet, I've just installed it. But that's how my brain works, it immediately just catastrophizes. I really like this stone floor it both does and doesn't look tiled but like it just looks realistic and it pleases me i did give him the little bannock maker thing because especially if he's out training dogs and he gets really hungry really fast at some point i want him to be able to feed himself in a hurry that book gave me a dishwasher but it didn't want to go with the counters i had so i was like fine no dishwasher for you Since I was in this category, I decided to kind of go ahead and grab a few things. Like that solar panel that looks like a tan, like tanning hide, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Words are hard. Oh. God, I've been not having the best couple of days. Just, I have what I call high pain days because I have a chronic pain condition and yesterday was really bad. I didn't even get to bed. And then today, I have to get out of bed because at this point my body's like, no, if you stay in bed, I'm just gonna make you suffer. So I'm out of bed, but then I keep getting like random, like Charlie horses is the best I can describe it, and it hurts. <laughs> so if you hear me make a weird noise and I don't pause in time, that's what that is. It's fine. It sucks, but like, this is also my life and I've lived with it a long time, so it's, you don't have to feel bad. I think we're just about done. I've got a couple more minutes, I think. There's quite a few items up here. Usually when I rough out spaces, I don't 
grab any kind of deco. I started doing lights and then I realized like I didn't really know what I wanted for the lights, so I was like, alright, never mind. I'll do lights later. It's easier to do lights when you've already put the room together. Because then you know how much space you have. That kind of thing. Um, I do like these little bits. They're, they're technically for use in crafting stations for sun and moon objects. But like those, the little leather strips, and then I don't know what's next to them, but those, like, they, they just look like good assorted just miscellaneous things that people might have lying around. And it's useful for all different careers, so I tend to put them down. I don't know if Sims will autonomously just like grab them, but yeah, I do like putting those down. I wanted there to be like a food prep area because obviously he's got to feed the dogs, but also like some medicine as well. I wasn't able to put quite as many things as I wanted, but I think I got enough to get the message across that like that little area with the table and the counter is his care station for any of the dogs that he currently has. I love these little book boxes so much. I know there's medieval recolors, but I, they're not available anymore and it's very upsetting to me, but I still enjoy them greatly. So sometimes I place them anyway <laughs> and I just ignore the fact that they are very much modern recolors because they look so good. Also, I got a couple more religious icons that you saw a second ago and I was like, I forgot about this. This is awesome. Now he likes, like his main hobby is games and then his sub hobby is like axe throwing, which since he doesn't like the outdoors, I really didn't want to put one down. But I do try to let that inform me anyway. Like I'm not only going to put axes, maybe you can put, you know, chess tables, cards, other things that would fall under the category of games just to, you know, show he's not just an individual that likes three things. He's well-rounded. He's a character rather than, I guess, a sim. I don't know. I just like to give him a little bit more personality, a little bit more to go on. Yeah, I'm just placing things down. My brain is so tired. I can't believe that I spent this long today building and decorating. And now I've got a dog under my desk, because of course I do. It's not even time for D-I-N-N-E-R. But she sure thinks so. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you today. We will be going forward with this slot and you'll see me fully decorate it, which like I said, is a throwback to my original videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you liked this video, definitely give it a like and I will see you in the next one.